Welcome to GSR Maths Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, sixth chapter of class ten, that is our uh, progressions. Okay. Before going to learn about the progressions topic, we need to understand the uh, some basic concepts regarding the progressions. So let us uh, get into the topic, that is all uh, sequence. Firstly. You should know about the sequence. So, sequence means what? Yeah, a systematic arrangement of numbers according to the given rule is called a sequence. Sequence means what? Any systematic arrangement of numbers according to a rule is called a sequence. Let us take an example. Mm -hmm. Let me take a multiples of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Found. Okay, so this is an, an example of sequence. Why? Right? Because these terms are arranged in a order that are obtained by adding three to the every previous number. Okay, so it is a sequence, and uh, these uh, terms or uh, these numbers which are in this uh, sequence are said to be as a uh, terms. Numbers which are in a sequence are said to be other than terms. Okay, so if it is, let us take first one. This is three. Okay, this is a three. So this is said with what first term. If it is a first term, it is represented as a t one. And second term is represented as a t two. Third term is represented as a t three. Likewise, if there are n terms, if there are n terms then that is represented by tn nth term of a sequence is represented as an tn in general this nth term is also called as a uh, general term of a sequence general term of a sequence i hope you understand about the sequence sequence means what the yeah. a systematic arrangement of numbers According to the given rule, is called a sequence, and the number in the sequence are called terms. We refer to the first term as a t1, second term as a t2, and so on. And nth term of a sequence is denoted by tn. This now I said about a tn. Tn means what? Nth term, and this nth term, which may also refer to as a general term of the Sequence, which is uh, also called as general term of the sequence. Now let us see that uh, types of sequence based on terms. Types of sequence based on terms. That is of finite sequence. That is of finite sequence. What is finite sequence? Means if a sequence consists of a finite number of terms in it, if a sequence Consists of finite number of terms in it, then that sequence is called as a uh, finite sequence. A sequence which consists of finite number of terms is called as a finite sequence. Let us see this example. This is an example of finite sequence. Why? Because there are only eight terms. That means we are able to count how many terms are there. Then it is said is what finite sequence. And you can guess that. What is the next type of sequence? Yes, you are correct. That is of infinite sequence, and you can say the definition of infinite sequence as a sequence which consists of an infinite number of terms. A sequence which consists of an infinite number of terms is called as an infinite sequence. In the very beginning of this uh, section. I took an example of sequence as a multiple of three, as a three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and so on. And I represented this dash. That means this dash. This dash represents a continuity. That means how many multiples are there for a three? Means there are infinitely many. So this is an example of infinite sequence. This is an example of infinite sequence. Why? Because there are infinitely many. Multiples of three are there. Okay, I hope I, you understand this. 
that is another example 3 10 17 24 31 and so on up to where this sequence is continues infinitely many we don't know up to where it is so that's why it is said what infinite sequence it is said what infinite sequence now let us say an important note regarding the sequence that is all if, if a sequence is given if a sequence is given then we can find its nth term then we can find out the, its nth term and if nth term of a sequence is given if nth term of a sequence is given we can find out uh, the sequence we can find out the sequence to understand better about this note let us go with one example let us see that example example one that find the first four terms of a sequence whose nth terms are given as follows find the first four terms of the sequence whose nth terms are given as follows here you need to understand that first term here first question you have to understand that they give that nth term tn is equal to 3n plus 1 that means uh, from this note what we should understand means if nth term is given we can write the sequence if sequence is given we can write nth term in terms of n's like this that means uh, to get the uh, terms of this sequence what we need to do means uh, if you want to suppose you want to get the first term so you should take n is equal to 1 to get n is uh, if to get a second term to get a n uh, to get a second term then we need to take n is equal to 2 so likewise we have to keep on substituting this suitable value in the place of n so that you will get the terms in the sequence so that you will get the terms in this sequence let us see how we are going to find out the terms of the uh, first sequence through this nth term see substituting n is equal to 1 so that you will get a first term you will get a first term t1 is equal to 3 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 4 and similarly if you substitute n is equal to 2 you will get a t2 as 3 into 2 plus 1 that is of 6 plus 1 that is 7 likewise if you substitute n is equal to 3 then you will get term 3 as a 10 and term 4 you will get as an 13 term 4 you will get as a 13 similarly you have to note down this question as a homework and after this class you have to write the answer for this question okay i hope you understand that how to find out a sequence or terms of a sequence when the nth term is given when the nth term is given and sometimes they may give you sequence they may ask you to write the nth term okay from the time being we'll discuss when wherever it is necessary in that case also we'll discuss that okay so now let us see the next slide which is of types of sequences all progressions here here on was our topic starts okay so a sequence of numbers which follows a specific pattern are called as a progression sequence of numbers which follows a specific pattern is called as a progression depending on the pattern depending on the pattern progressions are called classified as follows depending on the pattern progressions are classified into three types mainly in this that are arithmetic progression and second one is a geometric progression and third one is harmonic progression in the class 10 we want to discuss about the harmonic progression we'll discuss about only these two but in this section i'm going to explain about only arithmetic progressions okay for gp i'm going to make another video you need to wait until then okay so let me explain the concepts regarding the arithmetic progressions in this video to that let us see the definition of arithmetic progression 
arithmetic progression definition is that a sequence whose terms increase or decrease to a sequence whose terms are increase or decrease by fixed number is called as an arithmetic progression is called as an arithmetic progression that fixed number is called as an common difference we have discussed an example as multiples of 3 in the uh, previous slides so let me take the same example again 3 6 9 12 15 next 18 what is the next term that you will get here that is of 21 what is the next term that you will get that is of 24 and so on and so on here this is an best example of an arithmetic progression why because it is a sequence in whose terms are obtained or else by increasing by a fixed number here if you add 3 to the first term you will get a second term and if you add 3 to the second term you will get a third term and adding 3 to the third term you will get a fourth term likewise the terms will be obtained by adding a fixed number or subtracting a fixed number so such type of sequence is said is what arithmetic progressions and whatever fixed number that we are adding or subtracting that fixed number is called as an common difference in general it is denoted as a small d in general it is denoted as a small d okay i hope you understand about the definition of arithmetic progressions okay now that fixed number is a difference of two successive terms difference of two successive terms is a three here if you take any two successive terms in the ap that difference between them is remains the same so that's why it is said to be what common difference and it is usually denoted by small d and the standard form of ap denoted as a a plus d a plus 2d so and so up to a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 1 into d here a means first term a means first term and uh, d means what a common difference how you are going to get a second term means how we got a second term in this in this progression for the first term we have added common difference in the same manner second term is obtained by adding a common difference d to the first term and for the second term if you add d that means common difference you will get a third term as a a plus 2d and the same manner to get the nth term to get the nth term this is the formula this is a formula of nth term of an ap okay clear now let us see this two examples regarding the arithmetic progression so that you can understand better okay let us say first example that is of 1 3 5 7 and 9 so on here is it ap or not how do you how can we verify that whether it is an ap or not so to decide whether given sequence is an ap or not just uh, we need to take the difference between the two successive terms here I am taking the difference between these two terms that is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 here difference between 2 difference is 2 difference is 2 so the difference between the two successive terms is remains the same everywhere in this sequence so this sequence is said to be is in AP this sequence is said to be in AP okay here second term minus first term second term minus first term third term minus second term fourth term minus third term that is all common difference is so here this is an ap why it is an ap whose first term is one and common difference is two why why it is an ap means as a difference between two successive terms is remains same so that it is an ap and in this ap what is the first term first term is 1 and common difference is 2 okay now let us see the second example 
second example is that here 5 3 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 and so on here how to how to verify whether it is an AP or not as usual we need to take the common difference that means we need to take the uh, difference between the two successive terms is same or not we need to check that whether the difference between the two successive terms is same or not here what is the difference between the term 2 minus term 1 that means 3 minus 5 that is of minus 2 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 again minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 likewise if you if you check that the difference between the two conjugate terms is uh, remains the same then only it is said to be then AP ok once you see it is a sequence and this sequence is an AP why it is an AP means here the difference between the two successive terms is same and in which the first term is 5 and common difference is minus 2 here you need to understand this first example first example is a uh, uh, terms are obtained by adding a fixed number here in the second example terms are obtained by subtracting a fixed number ok here increasing sequence increasing manner it is in a decreasing manner ok that you need to understand ok now let us see the general term of an AP general term of the AP what is the general term of the AP means we already discussed that nth term of a nth term of a sequence Tn is equal to general term and nth term of a AP Tn formula is A plus of n minus 1 into D if you want to find out T5 just we need to substitute n is equal to 5 in this equation so that A plus of 5 minus 1 into D that is of A plus 4D fifth term how we got a plus 4d similarly if you want to take a tenth term then formula is a plus 9d if you want to take a twentieth term then a plus 19d here we need to take a 20 minus 1 in the same manner whatever n will be that predecessor we have to take ok in this term a means what a means first term a means first term and D means common difference ok T1 is also first term is also referred as a small a or T1 ok how do we get first term means first term T a is equal to a plus 1 minus 1 into D is equal to a ok this is a formula of nth term of an AP ok nth term of an AP is, a, is also called as a general term of that AP ok so now let us see that an example in this find the 30th term of an AP of 10 7 4 and so on 3 4 and so on we need to find out the 30th term of this AP so how we are going to find out the 30th term means here 30th term means T30 we need to find out T30 formula is a plus of 30 minus 1 into D that means A plus of 29 D here A means what first term what is A in this uh, what is the first term in this here A is A is uh, 10 and common difference is what 7 minus 10 7 minus 10 that is of minus 3 let us substitute that values a is equal to 10 plus of 29 into minus 3 and doing so you will get a 30th term ok now let us see the selection of the terms while doing certain problems in the population we need to select a certain terms that means uh, we need to select a 3 terms 4 terms 5 terms likewise so 
why we need to select a means in some in certain problems they may give you some of the three terms of a p is uh, 18 what is the first term what is the tenth term likewise they will ask so in such cases we need to select that uh, certain terms in a particular order so that we can do the or else we can solve that answers very easily so let us see how we are going to select that such type of terms okay sometimes we require certain number of terms sometimes we require certain number of terms in ap the following ways of selecting terms and generally very convenient why it is very easy means if you apply it you can solve the answer is very easily that's why we need to select the terms in this manner okay suppose if you want to find select the three terms you if you want to select the three terms then that three terms should be taken as a minus d a and a plus d that means first term if you suppose as a minus d second term becomes a a and third term becomes what a plus d why we need to select a means if they even sum of them as 18 means on adding this sum means what we need to add and adding this what will happen what will happen this d terms will be get cancelled then you will get a a value very easily a value you will get as an very easily once you got a you can find out a d also with a given with a given other condition okay so here what is the common difference here d and if you want to select the four terms you need to select that four terms in such manner as first term as a, a minus 3d second term as a, a minus d third term as a, a plus d and fourth term we have to select as a you know, a plus 3d a plus 3d here print mistake is there. okay a plus 3d so here also same concept they have given some all d terms will be cancelled as then you will get a, a value very easily so here what is a common difference while selecting these four terms in this manner means common difference is 2d and if you want to select the five terms you need to select as a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d and a plus 2d here common difference is d in the same manner six uh, if you want to select six terms like this and if you want to select the seven terms you have to select the like this terms we need to select so that we can do the answer is very easily now we are going to discuss one of the very very important formula regarding the arithmetic progressions that is of sum of n terms of a p sum of n terms of a p sir why what is the meaning of this term means if suppose we, uh, if we have taken the n sequence as a multiples of 3 as 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15 if you have taken like this ok so suppose we want to find out a sum of this ok how many terms are there how many terms are there 5 so if you take a sum then this is set, set to be as an sum of the first five terms of AP sum of the first five terms of AP and if you take a next multiple 18 and adding them that all six multiples then you will get a sum of six terms of AP likewise if there are n terms then to find out the sum of that up to n terms we required an easier method so it is necessary to learn a formula that is of n terms of ap that is of n terms of ap so let us see the formula of n terms of ap n terms of ap is represented as an sn sn in the sense n terms of ap n terms of ap is equal to n by 2 of 2a plus n minus 1 into d here n means the number of terms up to what number of terms we are taking that is n and here e means the first term 
and n value we already discussed d means common difference and there is another formula that is of sn is equal to n by 2 of a plus l where l is last term l is last term okay l is last term let us see this l formula last term is represented as a a plus n minus 1 into d which is also referred as an tn general term or else nth term only referred as an last term okay now see here a means first term d means common difference d means common difference and l means last term sn in the sense sum of first n terms sum of the first n terms by using this formula you need to do one problem as a homework Please note down this question. Okay, find the sum of find the sum of twenty terms of A P whose first term is three and last term is fifty seven. Find the sum of twenty terms of A P whose first term is three and last term is fifty seven. I hope you will try it later. Okay, let us. Uh, discuss one more important note by this note we are going to end this video let us see that okay if three numbers a b c are in a p if and only if if and only if b minus a is equal to c minus b b minus a is equal to c minus b that means common difference should be same common difference should be same from this from this we can write that a plus c is equal to 2d a plus c is equal to 2b then only we can say that a b c are in a p a b c are in a p when uh, three terms are said to be in a p means if uh, a plus c is equal to 2b how do you got this formula means it's help of common difference only here this negative b we have transported and this negative a we have transported to other hand so that b plus b is equal to c plus a that is of 2b is equal to a plus c that's it from where we got from the definition of arithmetic progression itself okay next c next concept that is of Next concept, if you observe, if a p has n terms, if an a p has an n terms, then nth term is called as a last term. Nth term is called as a last term. It is denoted by l, which we have discussed in the previous slide already. And l is equal to a plus n minus one into d. L is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Why? Because L is last term, which is also set by as an nth term of a AP. So these are the important synopsis which are this regarding the arithmetic progressions. I hope if I miss any concept in this, I will try to cover in the next video. And if you are watching the my video first time, please subscribe to the my channel and share to your friends. Thank you, friends, for watching this video.